Ukrainian drone strikes reduced Russian oil refining by 17%. NATO official. Ukrainian strikes with various types of weapons have had a significant impact on the Russian economy, notably reducing oil refining by 17%. NATO expects these strikes to continue. European Pravda reported this with reference to a high-ranking NATO official at the Alliance Summit in Washington. We do see that Ukrainian strikes on Russian territory are impacting the Russian economy, oil refining and Russian energy exports. The official said, according to the official, Ukrainian strikes with various types of weapons are capable of reaching deep into Russian territory and are significantly affecting the Russian economy. The impact is so substantial that Russia has imposed internal restrictions on petrol, exports and other measures. The official said Russian oil refining volume has decreased by about 17% and it is anticipated that further impacts on the Russian economy will continue as Ukraine employs various types of weapons. In May, the US Department of Defense stated that Ukrainian drone attacks in early 2024 disrupted 14% of Russia's oil refining capacity and led to an increase in domestic fuel prices. Ukraine has carried out increasingly long-range drone strikes into Russian territory, often targeting oil refineries and depots to disrupt fuel supplies to the Russian military and diminish Moscow's fossil fuel export revenues, crucial for funding the war. An attack on April 2 targeted Tatarstan's Nizhnekamsk oil refinery, which has an annual production capacity of around 8 million tonnes, amounting to 2.6% of Russia's total annual oil processing capacity. The refinery is over 1,000 kilometers from Ukraine. More recently, Ukraine confirmed it struck the Novoshaktinsk oil refinery in Russia's Rostov Oblast on June the 5th and said the attack destroyed 1.5 million tons of oil and oil products worth $540 million. Ukrainian drones also attacked four refineries in Russia's Krasnodar Krai and Astrakhan Oblast overnight on June the 21st and an oil depot in Volgograd Oblast overnight on July the 9th. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky commented on the attack on Akhmatid in Kiev and spoke about the moments when he wanted to kill Russian leader Vladimir Putin. He said this in his speech at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute in Washington. For me, you know, it's always for everyone, it seems, it's very sensitive. I'm a father, I'm the president, I'm a person. And it's very, very difficult to lose people, it's very difficult to lose children. And you see these people, parents, when their children die. At that moment, you want to kill Putin. And all of us want this, very much, the politician shared. At such moments, it seems to him that Putin is drinking something and not thinking. Zelensky suggested that the Russian president is indifferent to what is happening in Ukraine. What's tragic? That it wasn't an attack on a military facility or something like that or that there was something wrong with the missile. No, the missile was definitely flying towards the hospital. And this isn't the first time, the Ukrainian leader emphasized. He added that the July 8 shelling was a signal ahead of the NATO summit. According to him, Putin showed the world that this is exactly how he will act. Zelensky said in Washington that Ukraine needs at least 128 F-16 fighters, while the West is promising 10 to 20. The problem with the F-16 is the number and the dates. Let's be honest, we had a solution with the F-16. Russia uses 300 aircraft against Ukraine every day, but we had a solution of 10 to 20. Even if there are 50, it's nothing. They have 300. We are defending ourselves, so we need 128 aircraft. Our allies have these numbers, the president said. Zelensky also called on the United States to lift restrictions on strikes on Russian territory so that Ukraine could bomb Russian airfields. We will be able to protect our cities from Russian guided bombs if the American leadership takes a step forward and allows us to destroy Russian military aircraft at their bases, the president said. In addition, he called for increasing the Ukrainian armed forces' capabilities to carry out strikes in Crimea. 
We can significantly limit Russia's actions in southern Ukraine and drive out the occupier from there if the American leadership helps us with the necessary capabilities to deliver deep strikes against the Russian military and logistics in our Crimea, Zelensky added.